Yo, what's up? This is Rick from Adelaide this way, and you're watching So Fucking Cool Magazine.com. All right. So Fucking Cool here with Rick, man. How you doing? Feeling good. Feeling great. Feel real good. Good, good. Oh, yeah. How's the trip going so far, man? Uh, dude, we, we couldn't ask for anything else. You know, for us, um, you know, we're like we're like nine or ten shows in the store, and every room's been full. Right. What can you ask for, right? Exactly. You're filling rooms up. Uh, bad reputation is making all the noise we hoped it would, but the Bad Reputation Tour is, is the most successful headline tour our leaders we've ever done, and we feel the love. We feel very loved right now. It's a big month, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's coming out in the month. February 26th, Getaway comes out, and, you know, we're excited about it. Here's the thing. Every band always says their newest release is their best release. I plan on releasing a couple more records after this, you know, so... Uh, all I can say is that we work really hard on this, I'm proud of it, and I hope everyone loves the songs and loves, uh, you know, if they connect on, on what I wrote about, and, and you know, we, we uh, I'm very excited about what's to come, but I also know that I'm one man, that's my opinion, you know, and uh, I think people are going to dig it, though. I definitely do. I mean, like... You could tell some of the songs that are on there, it, it, it's how you feel, it, it's who you with. You know always, I mean? always. I, I write about, you know, what I go through and what I see and who I am, my perspective of life, you know, my perspective of things and situations. And uh, I just so happen to be able to relate to a lot of people and, and, and it really means a lot. And I've met so many great fans over, over the, the seven or eight years I've been touring the United States and Canada. And, and I feel blessed every day. I love seeing their faces. I love seeing the fans. That's why it's so important for us to headline. I love coming out and seeing, uh, seeing all the people that have just been uh, beyond great to us for so many years. It's amazing. Wow. It's, this is a great tour. When the headline tour, it, it's got to be an extra special. You know what I mean? I mean, because, like, you know, you've got some great openers, people are excited and shit, but you know that when it comes down to it, well, we did we did a couple miserable tours. Uh, one in particular that really made us realize that if we're going to be happy, you know, we have to headline. We have to, we can't be. We're not going to go out there and open for people we don't want to open for and just get treated like dog shit. You know, we're uh, we're putting 300, 400 people in rooms ourselves. You know, right. we're not going to open for anyone to put 500 people in rooms and them treat us like shit. So it just didn't make sense anymore. So we're really proud that uh, you, you know we're really honored that that we're showing up to every one of these places in every city and the shows are either sold out or packed houses or what I mean. Like I said, it. it it's it's uh, really a proud moment, a proud uh, feeling. We've been grinding away for years, and to see it playing out this way, uh, you know, feels like all of our, it, I, I'm positive all of our hard work has paid off. Now, last time I talked to you, you guys were just in the process of giving our fucking center for this release that's coming up. What is it like now when you see the fans, they know the words are right, you know what I mean? They're fucking out there, and they're giving it their all. It's, it's unbelievable. It, it, it fuels me. You know, uh, if you want to, if you want to see an even better performance from your favorite artist, your favorite singer, your favorite band, uh, do exactly that. Look them in the face, connect with them, uh, sing together. You know, it, it's it feeds us. I mean, when I see someone in the, in the front row, and our fans bring that man. That's why there's so much energy in those shows. They get, they feed me, it, and I love it. Well, that's one thing I love about your show too, though, is that you truly put it all out there. You know, I mean, you are a true rock and roll musician. Well, I have all day. I have all day to to to, to you know chill out and, and do what I want to do. And I have a kind of job where you do whatever the fuck you want all day. You know what I mean? No, no matter what, I don't answer to no one. Uh, the only person I have to answer to is myself on that stage and the fans every night. So when I get out there, I make sure that I that I uh, that I a love it and b I, I I play as hard as I can every time. It's true show. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I see some people going out there and half ass, and it's just it's like a shame. It's a memory. You know it's what I mean? You're there to see. Them. That's it's a shame. Fucking, you know yep. what I mean? Yep. And in this day and age, man, it's the, sh the live show is where you keep up as a businessman in your career. Well, it's what you gotta do. Then we're gonna be good because the live show on our end is is uh, is, is just fun to do and, it, and we love doing it. And you know, for anybody that's not enjoying what they're doing, when they're playing, like just step aside you know, and watch us uh, run right past you. Now, after this tour wraps up, what's next? You guys gonna keep on going? We're gonna be patient. You know, we're gonna we're, we have uh, bad reputation is, is just really making a lot of noise uh, across the board from sales to to radio you know it's flying up the radio chart people are listening to it on, on the streaming service it's just making it's just reacting mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna sit back and see uh, you know what makes sense for us at this point you know maybe we'll headline a little more in some places we have we have markets you know when you, we're filling up every room right now place don't even have rock stations you know, I want to see what it's like when we go headline
headlines of places with some rock stations and and uh, with a lot of support. You know, we're gonna sell these places out. Right. And uh, on top of that, too, I want to see. You know, there's bands I have on my mind that I want to tour with, and and I and I and I, I want to see if those bands recognize what we're, we're accomplishing. They definitely will. I mean, if they get one glimpse of you, they're gonna know that's somebody you want on stage. Of course, of course. Thank you, brother. Now, one thing I want to talk about is kind of a hot topic item right now is the on-stage ranch uh, Philip and Asana have the dime back. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. What's your opinion on the situation? You know what? I think, uh... Or, or, who's the mayor? My honest opinion is uh, Phil's never been the same after everything Pantera's endured. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, he probably battles a lot of demons through that. And I think sometimes he... He, uh... He tries to... I don't think what he meant was personal. I, I mean, I think he probably feels that way, really. He probably does feel that way. Yeah. And he probably tried to get a, the legion of people that feel that way with him through those words. But we're in a different, we're, I mean, I don't want to say a different time. It's not proper to say it any time, but you got to keep that shit to yourself. Right? If you feel that way, just keep that shit to yourself. That's not an opinion-based thing to say. Everybody has. You know what I mean? I think uh, people are people, and, and, and you got to just, you got to treat each person person, each interaction, uh, to judge each person. You know, you can't just make a statement like that. It's just not true. I get it, though. I mean, he probably feels that way. Of course. Hey, train, you know, it takes a big man to apologize. It's tough. It's tough when you, when you don't want to and you have to. But with the aspect of that happened, it was due to the fact that social media these days is just taking over everything. People are there in a moment enjoying the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you feel about that? You go out there and you see these kids out there holding their phone up. I like it. It's cool. I like it. You know, I see the memories. I get to, you know, we get to check out if we played good or not most of the time on on, a, on an Instagram video, how we sounded. And look, people are just spreading the word to their friends. They're just saying, look what I did tonight. I did something awesome. I did something fun. Here's a, a shot of me at the concert. Here's what, uh, you, you know, the guys in Adelaide does way look like, you know, Instagram and, and, and they tweet that they had a great time. And you want to know that people had a great time. It shows you that people had a great time at your show when you see it constantly. They had a great time at your show. Do I think you could just tweet out, you have a new album coming out February 26th and everyone's going to run and buy it. No, that, that doesn't work there. But it's good to see the other end of seeing fans, uh, you know, tag you and, and they put videos up of the show and, you know, you you get to kind of relive, uh, you know, the excitement you were having when you were playing. It's cool. That definitely is. I mean, it's a new way of people to show they actually give a shit. Of course. You know I mean? Of course. Besides buying the tickets, they're out there going ahead yep. and doing it. Yep. Now, with that being said, people want to know more about you on the website, the Instagram, the Instagram. Uh, we're on it all, man. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Adelita's Way. Uh, Adelita's Way Music.com is the website. A single bad reputation on iTunes. We love the fans. We love you guys. Uh, you know, and, and, and I wouldn't. I'm not going to sit here and say that we're going to be, you know, we're we're going to be doing this, that, and the other thing. Like, you know, I think where we are in our career now and what we're seeing, we, we want a night with Adelita's Way to feel special. We want people when we're headlining and coming through uh, in town to be aware and to be excited about it. You know, we're not just going to be uh, that slutty band that's in your city, you know, two, three times uh, a month, you know, it's, you're going to have to, you know, it's going to be once or twice a year, you get the chance to come out and just have a great night with us, it'll be good. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm glad to see that you come around and make the appearances again, but I yeah. also like to see that you don't want to flood the market. As no, as I mean, not even flood the market, it's, you know, people don't, people don't appreciate uh, how great of a night is if they just have that kind of night all the time. If somebody's a party animal, a party night's nothing that, you know, yeah. if someone gets out every now and then and has a special night, it's good. So these actually come around and see them four or five times a year, and you know if I don't swing buttons this time, guess what? Yep. Two, they're going to be there again. That's true. You, you need me? What's going on? What's going on? This lady bought the FBI online. Yep. She's fine. She did it. She bought it. Good. There's a couple. Yep. Yeah, because there's a couple. Yeah. She did it. Freaking out. No, don't let her. Don't let her. Don't let her. Just give it to her. If they, if they say they got it online, they really did. Why would somebody make that up, you know? Yeah, I didn't, you know, everybody else knows me the emails. I get it. I get it. What was her name? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Just ask her her name and then give it to her. Of course, of course. Yeah. That's one thing I like to see is the VIP package. Yeah. Well, we don't charge for VIP. We just say buy a T-shirt. Like, get support the band. So, so you support the band, and we'll gladly meet you. You know. Yeah. Very cool.
I, do, I appreciate your time. Thank you, brother. To the man. Uh, always, always. That 